I've gained to love others the way I love myself. We are known as a school that is caring. It has helped me to boost my self-confidence, the way I view myself as a girl. It just gives me so much faith in society. Uh, most of the dropouts are the girls. Now we wanted to find a reason. We hope the girls gain back their confidence. The most important thing was to make sure that we change people's lives. They've developed in a very big way. The school has moved forward because of it. This is becoming close to their hearts. Near the eastern free state town of Harrysmith lies a small township, housing a poor but close-knit community. Life is simple and the inhabitants draw income from the surrounding farms, minor industrial and commercial activity and market gardening. Many parents just scrape enough together to get their children to school. Loratu Tando Secondary School, not without its own socio-economic problems, is now respected in the community after discovering a program that has set them on a course that they never imagined they would embark on. I got involved in YCAP by my teacher. As we were working around our school, we saw that many girls were dropping out. So what we learned from the females was that most of them were on periods and then being on periods they were afraid of coming to school because they did not have the necessary. The real problem that the girl learners face is that they cannot afford sanitary towels and would rather spend their money on bread as a necessity. Thus, more and more girls were dropping out of school rather than face embarrassment in class. The school needed a plan to get these girls back in school and the main goal of preventing more from dropping out. Then this one of the lack of sanitary towels to girls, especially in our locality, became the most crucial one. If we, you walked inside our school toilets, you will find the dirty rags lying around, toilet papers and newspapers covered in blood. That brought our attention that these kids need sanitary towels. Absenteeism of learners was affecting the school in a bad way. In most of the subjects at school, we accumulate marks. And then if a learner becomes absent, they will miss a particular test. And then the marks that of the test that missed will be calculated into their case mark. It would be five, three to five days per month and per year they miss out a lot because when you, you're facing that problem each and every month, you cannot come to school because you think of the whole embarrassment. And also they'll miss on some of the activities that have been done in school. What is being taught, they would not know. The Empowervate YCAP program rolled out by the Department of Basic Education was just the program needed to tackle the problem at the school through a research system of the learner's involvement, problem solving and solution creation. There was no going back despite many challenges. The motivation to make this program succeed was the National YCAP Championships whose prize could ultimately help sustain their project. But when I looked at the toolkit, I became passionate and I loved it, the way it, it, it's structured. And I could see that personally I would learn a lot from the toolkit myself as an educator. We identified all the social ills in our locality. I'm a male teacher, so the stigma attached to a male teacher working with sanitary towels. Some people thought maybe it's, it's a joke or maybe I'm just doing this because it's a competition. Reactions of, the, of those girls were different because some of them were reluctant and some were open to the idea that we are trying to help them, even though some of them were ashamed. We have a girls club where we talk about girls' issues and we help the girls gain back their confidence. I've gained to know to talk about such problems since the other boys often do ask about what's this thing all about. So I try to elaborate to them and explain. One other challenge was um, people were very resistant into donating because they don't understand, especially the male teachers and the male in general. The girls approach us because they find it bet much better to approach us as, as we are their peers. They come to us and then we take them to the admin because we leave our sanitary towels there. It obviously is something that's very close to all of our hearts and especially being as women where we have had our eyes open in terms of how many children actually do miss school because of it being that time of the month for them. So we're very passionate about it and we're very excited to be part of it. Now that the female learners had the sanitary towels, how would they dispose of them hygienically and efficiently? How would the girls deal with their own hygiene around the school? 
a system had to be in place. It wasn't long before a partner came on board. We have donated the bins to the school, so we will 100% control those bins in terms of the state of the bins, making sure that they are being serviced correctly, making sure that the wastage is discarded correctly, so that the hygiene is effective in the school, as well as that the school is compliant with the legislation. So we will be looking after these bins, we will be cleaning them, we will be emptying them. If ongoing training needs to be done for the girls on to how to use them, if another grade comes in, we will come in, we'll re-educate. We'll also be supplying the little sanitary bags for them to put the sanitary pads in to put into the bins as well. And then as and when they run out of the gel and the hand sanitizer, we'll also be open to negotiation on providing them that on an annual basis. Most of the girls are now back at school because they have sanitary towels and we are providing them with, with sanitary towels. Even the ones who are older, the ones who promised to go to TVET colleges are now back to school. Before we got involved with YCAP, we had a number of learners who were absenting themselves regularly every month because of their normal monthly periods. And then after the YCAP, after the intervention of YCAP, the, the absenteeism was reduced drastically. The ball was rolling and the project had gained momentum to the point of success. With a close grade 10 team, Lerato Utando entered their project into the YCAP Provincial Competition, which they went on to win, taking them to Pretoria for the National Championships. We found it very, very exciting to have won the Provincials and most of the people were happy for us. It was a very um, eye-opening process, I must say. When we won the Provincials, it was very tough, but my learners, really, they came in full cycle. Going to the YCAP Nationals 2016 brought us as a team much closer because we were able to act as a family and to do a lot of things together. I was very um, elated when they, they were crowned the first position. Winning was the most best part of it all because Free State has never won before and we were the first to represent the whole province. At some point as a teacher I sat down and said I think I did not do enough. I mean so many interesting projects but when my learners got on stage and started presenting their project I knew deep inside that my job is done whether I win or we do not win. The most important thing was to make sure that we change people's lives and we bring back those girls who dropped out back to the school. And we believe that what we are doing would make would make such a huge difference in the whole of our community. The school and the community had become accustomed to the Sanitary Tower Project's success, and so sustainability was key for these learners. The ultimate extension of the project that they had started was the provision of a sustainable donor and funding system for the future. Maintaining sustainability, I must say that it's one of the challenges that the project is currently facing. We are trying to get more companies to actually bring into our school pads um, monthly. And sometimes we have to go door to door to ask for donations and we provide the girls who need them each and every month. This is a very small community. When we get to people's houses for door to door donations, they respond in a very polite way and the different individuals, especially the individuals that we know that they are financially muscled in our locality. We approach them, they are still donating our school. It's also adopted by Nestle. We are sustaining this group by continuing having discussions with the girls club. We always donate two rents once per month. We, can, we, we still continue searching for more reliable and stable sponsors to sponsor us with sanitary towels. As a new member, I'm just assisting to find more sponsors, more stable sponsors actually. I suppose our project will be sustainable for a very long time until the government decides that they will provide the schools with sanitary pads as much as they provide clinics with free condoms. Now with the project as an integral part of the school and community, what did the involvement in the YCAP program do for all those involved? The 10 participating learners became confident in a way. It taught them how to go and research a problem. It taught them how to come up with a solution. It, it, it helped them to become stronger people. And the school has moved forward because of that.
It has helped me to boost my self-confidence, the way I view myself as a girl. It has helped me to develop more on my researching skills. They were very reserved. They never thought that they would speak in public, but through YCAP, it managed to bring out the best in them. I've gained confidence. I've gained to love others the way I love myself. I never knew how to use a computer. So I've learned how to research and browsing, downloading, um, PowerPoint, how to set up a presentation. At first, I was a very shy person, very reserved, and I couldn't address large crowds. And that for me, YCAP was a great platform for me to get out of my comfort zone. Yes, they've, they've developed in a very big way. The, the guys speak about it, the girls speak about it. It's opening a whole other door to how society thinks. Through them, our toilets are now respectable. Through them, our learners are now a little bit freer. Through them, our school is able to command a particular atmosphere around town. Our community is really supportive of good things. We are able to move around with, with lifted shoulders. Mr. Moloy has created a platform where our school is respected around town. We can't change South Africa as a whole, but we can change people's lives as we go along. And um, if you just touch one person's life, then you're doing a great thing wherever you are. Gives me goosebumps would be the best word I can use to describe it. That our children, the younger generation, thought of this project and went out there and did this for themselves so that they could ensure that they were at school. It just gives me so much faith in society and in our, our younger generations that they're definitely gonna make a change in this world.